Hi, I'm Jay D'Agostino from Scales Medical Technologies. I'm here today to talk about medical gas maintenance. NFPA requirements for medical gas system maintenance has always been a gray area. There had been recommendations in Appendix C, but they were not actually part of the requirements. It wasn't until 2012 that the NFPA 99 actually included maintenance requirements for equipment and for people who perform maintenance. Inventory requirements, inspection schedules, inspection procedures, maintenance schedules, and qualifications of people maintaining these systems are all part of the 2012 edition. There are three different qualification requirements for people maintaining medical gas systems. If your facility staff is maintaining your own medical gas systems, they are required to obtain training through your facility on the specific equipment installed or by obtaining credentialing to the ASSC 6040 medical gas maintainer standard. Third-party companies that provide services to facilities to test and maintain medical gas systems are now required to hold credentials in accordance with the ASSC 6040 medical gas maintainer or 6030 medical gas verifier standards. If you didn't already know, CMS has adopted the 2012 edition of the Life Safety Code 101, which references the 2012 NFPA 99. That means these requirements now apply to your facility staff, as well as third-party testing and maintenance companies. If your staff is currently maintaining your medical gas systems, you need to ask the questions, are they qualified, and do they have a documented procedure? If you have third-party service providers, do they have credentialed service technicians? Scales Medical Technologies employs all credentialed employees. We have 6010 medical gas installers, 6030 medical gas verifiers, 6040 medical gas maintainers, and a 6050 medical gas instructor. If you have questions about these requirements, please give us a call today. Thank you.